Good evening, grandchildren. Uh, I just got out of the shower, which is why my hair is so... Yeah. It is Sunday, um, and I try to put out a uh, new journal entry for you guys every single week, and um, I have a couple hours left to, to, to do this week's because I've been kind of busy and doing a lot of stuff. Uh, but I didn't know what to talk about, and I just actually last weekend I went up to Oregon and visited Logan, and we went on a bunch of adventures, and I wanted to tell you guys about that, but I think I'm gonna need more time to figure out how I wanna tell that story. Along with, I still need to get to uh, talking about the movie theater because I stopped working there, and I wanted to tell you guys about uh, leaving that and everything, but in the meantime, I thought uh, for this few hours I will just talk about uh, me being dumb. I mean, I think everyone has their moments, but I feel like constantly I just do really dumb things, and I don't try to stop doing them either. I don't mean like an idiot like I don't know what 3 plus 3 is. 7? I mean, I do things constantly that I think about later and I realize that they were just really dumb and I don't know why I did that but I did it or I thought it or whatever it was so I wanted to tell you guys about that because it's mildly amusing and it'll help you get to know your grandfather better so I do this thing a lot where I get out of my car and uh, my smartwatch has the moon on it uh, so as you can see it's waxing crescent right now and uh, so there's just like a little sliver right there, uh, along with showing that time because it's a freaking watch and it, that's its main job. Uh, but I, I, I'm obsessed with the moon. And I do this thing, one, I don't know why I do it, but I, um, okay, you'd think that because my watch has the current phase of the moon on it, I look at the moon and then I look at my watch to make sure my watch is correct. But that is not accurate at all. What I do, and I don't, I honestly, I don't know why I do this, but it, I look at my watch first and assume that that's the truth. Because I guess the math that's happening inside my watch is probably more accurate than anything else. And it's, it knows what it should be. So then I look up at the moon to make sure that it's right. Like I, like if one of the two things is gonna be wrong, it's definitely gonna be the moon because this uses fricking math. So that's the thing that I do. I, I double check the moon to make sure that it's doing what it should be. And uh, you guys actually should be thanking me because I don't think anyone else is doing that. I am the only person on this planet probably that's making sure the moon is doing what it should be doing. That isn't the, the story that I was gonna say. Uh, oh, the reason I told you guys that was because the other night I got out of my car and I looked at my watch and it had a full moon on it. And for a split second, maybe it was because I've been reading Harry Potter, but for a split second, I swear to God, I thought, oh shit, now I'm gonna turn into a werewolf. <sighs> I have stuff to do. And then I realized, no, I'm an idiot. Another thing that I do a lot is every time I bump into an inanimate object, I mean, okay, there's some people that like, if they bump into an inanimate object, they just like, oh, oh, gotta carry on, that looked dumb, but maybe nobody saw it. And then there's some people who, you know, accidentally say, like, they bump into the thing and they're like, oh, sorry. And then they walk away and then they kind of feel dumb because they just apologize to an inanimate object. Um, what I do without really, I don't know why I do it also, but it happens. I bump into something and then, okay, there's two things that I do. Uh, sometimes I, I point at it like I'm scolding it, like, mm. Like that kind of thing, like, like you know, like a, a child is about to do something wrong. Like, I'm, I'm just like, hey, no. And then sometimes uh, I'll gently pat the thing. <laughs> like I'm, I guess it's kind of like saying I'm sorry, but kind of like if you accidentally step on your dog's toe or something and it squeals for a second, you're like, oh, and you pat it to, you know, let it know that you're sorry. I, it probably doesn't understand, but it's for, more for you so that you know that you apologize to your dog. That kind of pat. Like I'll, I'll, like I'll, 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 I'll hit something with my leg or my shoulder, go, mm. and I'll walk away. And then I'll think about the fact that I just patted it like I was trying to apologize non-verbally. And I feel really dumb. 
Because I'm an idiot. The other day I went through a drive-thru and uh, there was a, uh, my, my windshield wipers were off because it was underneath this like awning thing and it was annoying me like like nyeh, 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 that sound constantly so I turned it off while I was like paying for my food and stuff and I went to the next window and I looked at all the droplets of water on the window and I thought, huh, it would be cool if there was some kind of machine that could fling all of that water off. I'm gonna turn my windshield wiper on on full blast because there's like different like there, there's different speed settings on the windshield wiper So in my head I was thinking wouldn't it be really cool if I just instead of, I mean there's a slower setting which is just gonna be like Like just all sad like a dying toad uh, And then there's also like the really quick like you go tick 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 all the way up to the top And then it's like And I was thinking you know there's a lot of water on here And I don't usually see that much water all at once on the full sp setting one uh, the full speed one Because it's going so fast it's only getting a little bit of water every time So it's like this is a large amount of water I'm just going to turn it all the way from zero to like a hundred Really quick I'm just going to take all the way full power And I did it right as the the person working at the fast food place opened the window to hand me my food and i don't know whether i should feel bad but it was also really funny a lot of all it was so much water just went <laughs> right towards and through the window onto the the fast food employee and yeah I'm, I'm, i feel bad about that kind of but it was also really funny and I, I'm an idiot. A lot of the time when I'm in my car, and I, I don't know if this is a normal thing because people don't usually talk about it if it's a normal thing, but um, when I'm in my car, sometimes, you know, I, I like I'll listen to an audio book or I'll be listening to music or like talk radio, whatever. And then sometimes I'll leave my radio off, like not intentionally, I just don't think about it when I get in my car and I'm driving. And then that's, I don't know if I, I just, I can't handle the silence, I think. So I start talking to myself. And as you know, I, I love movies and I want to make movies. And I, well, I mean, I also acted for a very uh, long time from like fifth grade to my senior year in high school. So I kind of have that like built into my, my brain and uh, I think my instinct is to start practicing like voices and I'm not good at voices uh, I don't think at least like I can do accents kind of but they're, they're usually awful but I nonetheless I when I'm alone in my car in that silence I start talking in them uh, like to myself really it's weird like okay to give you guys an example let's say I'm like driving down the road hey there you guys um I just want to let you know that uh we just passed our exit we're supposed to get off right there. Bullshit. This is... Every time. Every time we do this. We never get off on correct exit. Oh, yeah, but you shut up. There are plenty of times when, when we get off at, at the correct exit and everything ends up perfect. Like that. I, uh... That's what I do. It's weird. I'm an idiot. Another thing that I do is, um, I think I am like mildly allergic to dogs and or cats, or I'm allergic to whatever they walk through every day, like outside. But, um, like I'm aware of this and it's not bad. Like my, like my skin gets a little bit like red, just like not really even noticeably. It's just like, I, I can, like it feels warm or whatever and I can barely notice it if I'm looking at myself in the mirror. And then my eyes get a little bit like red also. Um, so the, the effect is if I go out in public, people just think I'm stoned or something. Uh, whereas I'm, I was just playing with a, a dog before I left. But knowing that I still like every day end up playing with a dog and I know what's going to happen at this point. I like, I'll sit down with that dog and I'm like, uh, I, I don't want to play with you. They're going to make me all like itchy and my eyes are gonna go red but i'll look down at that little sad dog face and just like i don't it doesn't matter how much i pet that dog or play with it it always has the same face like why don't you ever play with me and then i just feel really guilty and 
and then I play with it and then my eyes get really red and I feel really itchy and then I'll go like see a movie or something and they're like are you are you in drugs right now Austin no I was playing with a a freaking dog it happens all the I didn't never, yeah okay yeah that, it doesn't matter every time somebody has to ask if I'm on drugs and nobody believes me when I tell them that I was playing with a freaking dog but another thing that makes me an idiot is that um we have this dog named Margaret she's this kind of like bigger brown dog and sometimes she sleeps on my bed uh, and like I'm fine with that uh, she's a pain in the butt like she pushes me off of the bed every single time but uh, sometimes I get home from wherever I was and I'll come in my room and she's laying there just looking at me right in the middle of the bed taking up as much room as she possibly can like I'll try to get like I want to get into bed but I also feel really bad like I feel really guilty about ruining her comfort. Look at the dog. She's she looks so comfortable right now. Uh, like just pretending she's a person sleeping in a bed. I can't ruin that. That's this is so precious. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to figure out something else. So then I either sleep on the ground or I try to sleep on the bed but around the dog. Like if this is my bed uh, and she's right here my body will be like right here, trying to like bend around her while I'm sleeping. It's just awful and I never can fall asleep like that. But then she's just sitting there like having the sleep of her life. And then also, if, there, if there's an animal sleeping on me, like a particularly small dog or a cat that's actually on me, I will not move until they move. Even if it's in the morning and I have stuff that I need to do, I will lay perfectly still and not move because I'm terrified of ruining their sleep. I'm an idiot. Also, I regularly lose my keys constantly, constantly. Like, I I don't even know, like honestly, I don't know where my keys are right now. They're not, they're not in my pockets. I don't know. So every time I need to drive anywhere, it's like this kind of chaotic, panicked adventure trying to get my keys so I can drive somewhere. Which I guess is like fine. I mean, I I openly endorse adventuring. Uh, but then sometimes I need to get to work. And not having my keys to that is just... Another thing that I do constantly that makes me think that I'm an idiot is I constantly internally debate whether it's a good idea to shave my entire head and my eyebrows. There's no... There's no excuse for that. I just think about it constantly. And really, pretty much what it came down to is I would definitely do it if somebody else did it with me. I mean, if there was any of my close friends that came up to me and said, I want to shave my head and my eyebrows, and I want you to do it with me, then I would, I would immediately just say, yeah, sure, let's go. Let's do it right now. And we'd go buy some razors and shave our heads and eyebrows. I'm an idiot. I'm making the decision to move all the way across the world to Australia this summer to go to film school. I'm an idiot. I think the long distance running is fun because I'm an idiot. Anyway, that's it until I have time to put together some of the, the longer videos that actually relate to things that I've done and stuff. But in the meantime, grandchildren, um, if you guys are watching this, uh, then you should come over here and see me. And I should show you the most comfortable handshake in the world. Because it's incredible. It's not, I mean, there's a normal... Okay, well, I don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to demonstrate the handshake. But normal people just kind of do that when they handshake. But there's a special way that I can do a handshake uh, where you have to spread your fingers apart. And you kind of like go under. But it's... It's incredible. It's life-changing. And you guys have to experience it. So uh, ask me to show you the most comfortable handshake in the world, and I will. And you're going to be... See you guys.